thing is, one of the most frustrating thing is, you need to um, wait at least 10 minutes from my um, experience for the engine to to warm up. You don't destroy the rod bearings. So you have to be mindful of it all. Regardless of what gen your E9X is, the rod bearings have to be done. Um, so that's point one. That can be a bit of a ball lick at times due to the fact that you might be in a rush and you just want to warm you up for like five minutes but you can't compromise. The other thing I find is like, you know, um, Lord, this car is an alcoholic. I kid you not. It needs to go to rehab or something. Back to this to the tech to the manufacturer for it to make it more economical but when you're owning one of these vehicles it's not about being economical though is it you know you know what you're signing up to um, a V8 says it all um, but for my side of things it's comfortable I, mean, I treat it as a weekend car or you know um, it, it is occasionally my daily drive and um, but if you're sensible uh, it, it should give you good fuel mileage uh, on it all uh, maintenance is not cheap. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. I think BMW are like £150 an hour, something like that, plus VAT. Can't remember the exact figures that they're on, but they're, it's pretty astronomical. Um, it's a lot of time to be charging people for just sipping tea. Um, <clears throat> like I've always said, and I always will stick to, there's a, a lot of very good independent uh, technicians that are. Um, excellent at what they do check them out if you know one hold him tight and tires are expensive brakes are expensive um, I understand the um, owning it and the cost of it is going to be high but the, um, you can't compromise on the sheer um, brutal sound of the V8, the stance, it just, you know, um, gets all your emotions, many variable feelings that you have inside yourself, um, fire them, fire up. So if you're looking at one of these vehicles, I myself have been looking for a while, I think I was looking for one for like two years, I had my heart set on one. But the thing that put me off that was it was um, oh, it was white, and I'm not really the kind of guy who likes white, even black. I would say it's like everyone that I know has gone gone for a white or black white because it's, it's easier to maintain, I guess. Um, black because. Um, it does look good, but I think every other person out there wants a black car. I'm variable when it comes to colours, and the current one I have is red, and I love it. Red is one of my favourite colours, and it has a stance on it. It brings the detail of the, of the, of the uh, vehicle really well. So if you are looking for a car, colour is very important. I don't think white does justice to the, the contours of the vehicle. I don't think it... It brings out the design, the um, aggressiveness of the car. So that's why I went for red. And everywhere it goes, it just attracts attention. Not because it's an M3, it's because um, the colour brings it all out. Colour does really do the vehicle justice. So, um, hold on while I pull out my drive. As you can see, it's an amazing weather in England as always. <coughs> Roads are quiet, people are at home. It's currently 11.20 a.m. I've owned this, um, I think going on six months now. In six months it hasn't, I've, I've done certain mods on it. Nothing too brutal. I've changed like the exhaust system, the paddle shifts, the um, standard, you know, um, ignition start button, which is pretty standard across the board, and the M button. On steady wheel, people do that as a standard. Um, but I haven't gone into a complete, committed um, engine 
boost more bhp kind of so guys if you're looking to buy one of these cars the rarity in these in these particular models is going to be the engine and not the overall design and the way they drive and, and that but you know um don't be them kind of people who's going to be left behind or have this on their bucket list um if you can afford one now then i would advise you to go and um, purchase one and any time of day that you come out well i come out in this car it always looks and feels very modern. You, you can't, you don't even know because the, I think the design is very similar to the current models. Um, so, as an investment, definitely get your hands on one. Um, you won't regret it. I don't think you will. But ultimately, it's your own decision. I'm not saying. You know, just go and get, you must have one. But you know, uh, well, I am saying you must have one, but be sensible. If you can afford one, it's your own choice, and by all means, get one. At least get to drive one, though. You know, at least go and have a feel of the car. That's what ultimately made me fall in love with it. The drive, when I drove the car, as soon as it fired up, automatically there's a good relationship. <coughs> so yeah that's it guys um, that's just like an intro into the workings that you I don't know you could say the workings or the um, the um, living with the M3 on a regular basis you know, so you know, you know kind of like get an idea of there's a very limited amount of cars that get my soul fired up and this is definitely up there definitely up there so as usual guys like comment share subscribe support the channel Guys, until next time, adios.